Welcome back to another video. I'm Chef Devo and I'm going to teach you how to make the Salmon Dream Sushi Roll. So named after the Facebook fans which chose that name. If you also want to choose a name next time I have a sushi roll that doesn't have a name, then go like the Facebook page to have a say in that. Okay, you can check it out right now by clicking on the bottom left corner of your screen and there'll be a link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get cooking. All right, so just clean the board and then I'm going to take some sushi grade salmon. If you don't know what sushi grade fish is, Check out the link on the top left corner of the screen for more information. Now I'm going to take a very sharp knife and I'm going to start cutting. The first cut is just to start the right angle and I'm going for a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to place the palms of my fingers against the fish and just drag the knife through in one swooping motion. And you want to make sure you don't saw as you cut through it. It wants to be one smooth cut all the way through. And you want to make sure they're half a centimeter thick. That's about one fifth of an inch. And I'm just going to keep cutting until the entire piece of salmon is done. Or you can just do as much as you need. Right, I'm just going to go all the way here. Worst case scenario, you have some sashimi you can eat. Okay, once I'm done, I'm just going to put this back on the plate, put some cling film or plastic wrap over it and keep it in a cool place like the fridge until I need it. Alright, so now we take a nori sheet, which is the seaweed component of your sushi, or algae. Then you cut this in half. So we only need half. And then you put 120 grams of sushi rice on it, cooked and seasoned. If you don't know how to do that, click on the link on the top left corner of your screen for more information on how to cook and season sushi rice my way. All right, so just spread it out nice and evenly and don't press it down too heavily. You want it to be very fluffy. And then here I'm going to flip it over onto a bamboo rolling mat. Now the one I've got here is especially non-stick that doesn't stick to the rice. But if you don't have one of these, just put your bamboo rolling mat inside a bag. Okay. And this is some tempura shrimp. I'm just putting it on. I've cooked this beforehand and I've shown how to make this in another video. If you want to go see how to do that, click on the top left corner of your screen. And for the outside ones, I've just put the little tail on the outside. And here I'm just putting some julienne cucumbers. Just that's thinly sliced cucumber. And I'm just putting it all the way across. Okay, here we go. Now to roll, you just pull it over and then close. And then you want to just lift it up and then roll that forward, sealing the roll. And roll forwards, and then press again firmly to make the roll. Great. Okay, so now we've got the roll. All right, so now you've got the sushi roll, you wanna take your salmon again, and you wanna start layering it on one by one, just like this. You put one after the other, with a very, very slight overlap, but not much. And once you've covered the entire sushi roll, just like this, you take a piece of cling film and you place it over. This will keep the salmon onto the sushi roll when you cut it. You just press it on with a rolling mat, just like this, and then lift it up, and now we cut. Now I've just dampened the knife in some water so the rice doesn't stick to it much, and I'm cutting it in half here. And I'm gonna cut the halves into quarters, and then I'm gonna double back and cut those quarters into eights, and this will make your traditional eight pieces of sushi. Now, the outside ones will have the tail of the shrimp sticking out, which is kind of a nice thing to have on the plate. Okay, so once you've finished cutting, you just go back and re-firm it up with the bamboo rolling mat. This will make it nice and pretty because it might have jostled around when you were cutting it. You take the cling film off, and then now, just look at our sushi. Looks great. All right, beautiful ceramic plate, always adds to it. If you want this same ceramic plate, you can get it by clicking on the link on the top left corner of your screen. And then just basically place the sushi on it, and then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of masago. Just this, some uh, Japanese seasoned fish roe. It's very delicious. I even like to eat this stuff on its own. So it's just great on top of sushi. Okay, so voila, done. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and share button somewhere down there, so that your friends can see it too, and they can enjoy it as much as you did. Okay, so. Check out some of my other videos by clicking on the right and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next week. Goodbye.